Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the second part of Medicine in Bosnia, my review. I am Jasmeet Singh, second year medical student in the Faculty of Medicine, University of East Sarajevo and I belong from New Delhi, India. Before you start watching the video, I suggest you watch the first part of this video so that you can understand what I am going to tell you now. Today, I will be starting with Histology and Embryology, the second most important subject of your first year. It will be consisting of theory and practical. Theory will be 4 hours per week and only one class. Practical, on the other hand, will be having two classes, 4 hours per week. That means 2 hours each. Now I am going to talk about the books required for histology and embryology. First, I am going to tell you all the books that the professor required us to use. First, Jinkira's Basic Histology and Langmax Basic Embryology. On the other hand, now I am going to tell you the books that I use. I not only use these two books as preferred by the professor, but also used IB Singh for histology and D. Fewer's Atlas for histology because I found this book's language a little difficult to remember for my examinations. So I chose IB Singh over it because IB Singh has given everything point to point which makes it very easy to learn and remember for your examination. Genetics, the third important subject, but it will be taught only for 15 weeks in this second semester. It also includes story and practicals. It is also covered for 4 hours in one class and for 4 hours in 2 classes. Now talking about the books required for genetics, you do not require to take any books. The professor and the assistant professor both will be providing you with notes as well as book PDFs so that you can use them for your exams. You would be thinking that I don't like to study from PDFs, what should I do? So I recommend that you study from PDFs just for this subject because the professor requires three books of genetics and from each book only three to four chapters are used. So there is no use in spending so much money. Now I am going to talk about three fun subjects sociology, social medicine and medicinal ethics. These subjects are very easy. You can excel at them just by listening and understanding what the professor is trying to teach you during the classes. Trust me, I have done this. These subjects will be 15 weeks long and just be comprising of the first semester. You will be having 2 to 3 classes every week. That makes it 4 to 6 hours every week. Talking about the books, no books are required, just the class PDF notes that the professors will provide you. Methodology of scientific research. It is a very interesting subject for those who want to go further in research based medicine. In this subject, you will be taught everything from starting how to write a scientific paper and how to do medical research and how to go further with it, how to publish in journals, what all you need to do. It is just 15 weeks long in the second semester. You will be enjoying this because you don't have to study much in this. You just have to attempt some online quizzes 
which are fun and easy to do. It is a practical application based subject, so you do not need to use any books. You just have to attempt the quizzes that you get during the year properly and listen what the professor teaches you. Serbian language It is one of the most complicated languages in the world. But you do not need to worry because the university has taken upon itself this humongous task to teach you Serbian language basic in just three years so that you can easily converse with the patients and understand what they are saying because this is a key element of being a doctor of understanding the patient it will be comprising of Thirty weeks, all theory classes, for it no books will be required, the professor will be providing you with notes as well as exercises which she will help you solve in the class in front of her. I recommend you to make some Serbian friends when you reach Bosnia so that you can talk to them and enhance your speaking and listening skills. Last but not the least, my favorite subject, clinical practice. So for those who do not know what does the term clinical practice mean. Clinical practice means the practice of medicine by a medical practitioner that involves three things, diagnosis, treatment and management of patients medical conditions. This subject will give you a first hand experience with the patients. You will be taught everything starting from types of fractures going up to types of sutures and how to suture. I have never seen anyone teaching these things in the first year of medicine. Not even in the best colleges of India will you see clinical practice being taught before the third year. Moving forward, clinical practice will be taught in the 15 weeks of the second semester. It will comprise of two parts, theory as well as practical. First, you will be taught about the theory and then you will be taken to the hospital to observe the working and how things are done in a hospital. For example, if you study about fractures on the first theory class, then in the second practical class, you will be taken to the hospital to observe x-rays and patients with a fracture. You will also be taught on how to put a plaster. I will attach some pics of us learning how to put a plaster as well as a short video. subjects you just have to choose any two. In English language you will be taught about basic English communications as well as medicinal English. In informatics you will be taught about bioinformatics how you can use informatics in the field of medicine. In biophysics you will not be involved in any of the machines but you will be learning how the body works and the physics behind it. For example, how this arm moves, what is the physics behind the arm moving. You will be learning these three subjects just for the 15 weeks of the second semester. required for these subjects there is no need you will get all notes from which you just have to study and you will pass these exams informatics involves some quizzes that will be done on the portal provided to you when you join the university another 
thing that I would like to mention about biophysics is that you will have to do derivation of physics in this subject. So, if you are weak in physics, do not take this subject or it will become very difficult for you to learn the derivations and write them during the exam. Hope you like my analysis and if you have any questions, you can comment them or you can DM me on my Instagram ID mentioned in the comments. I have also included link and names of all the books in the description box. Please do check them. If you like my video and think that it helped you, then please like, subscribe and share it to all your friends who you think will be interested in taking admission in the University of East Sarayo.